And what made you want to put Marcus in the starting lineup? Did that did that kind of spark not only his game, but also Nick's game and everybody else's? Yeah, I just think, um, you know, getting him, you know, um, to come out there and start for us and, you know, getting working again. You know, I thought, um, you know, he, he came into the season, you know, missed the first 10 or 11 games. And so we wanted to ease him into it. And Nick, you know, Nick did a fabulous job. What well, nothing, nothing that Nick had done. You know, he's actually played great for us. Um, we just wanted something to kickstart Marcus to get him going um, and getting ready, you know, down the stretch. What you saw tonight, is this something you think you're going to stick with? Yes, sir. Thanks, Ty. Thanks. We'll go next to Shane Young. Hey, Ty. Uh, the team is now 7-0 and on the second night of back-to-backs. What does that really say to you about the team, like that, that they respond emphatically after you call out their effort defensively? Um, you know, you don't want to have to keep doing that. You know, it's not something you want to get used to doing. Um, but, you know, Kawhi's just showing his leadership of just, you know, wanting to play back-to-backs. Um, he's healthy, and um, that, that's big for us. And um, just shows that, you know, he's trying to he's trying to do the right thing. And, um, you know, back-to-backs this year, I think we're 7-0. and So it just, you know, back-to-backs test, test your manhood, and test you, who you are, and test your character. And I thought tonight we responded very well, you know, especially to hold his team to 99 points after giving up 135 last night. Thanks. We'll go next to Law. Hi, uh, as great as Marcus was, you had Zoo also in the starting lineup. And I thought he did an outstanding job staying with Luca uh, multiple times on an island out there on the perimeter. Uh, and it's, it just seemed like an unconventional look for him. Um, and it's not the first time that Zoo's really done well. Uh, did, are, you, are you surprised at his um, just poise out there, uh, not panicking when he's on his own against one of the best offensive players in the league this season? Um, you know, not really a lot because last year, you know, in the bubble in the playoffs, she did a great job, you know, with our veers because of Porzingis, um, such a great shooter in Cleaver that we do a good job of just veering off. And now, you know, Zoo has to play in one-on-one. And he did a good job in the bubble. So that's why we was comfortable doing it. Uh, we know they have great shooting around. So just to make him play one-on-one and, you know, Zoo being a big body standing in front and just trying to, you know, take that first initial bump because Luke is so strong and then stay down on all the shot fakes. And like I said, I thought uh, Zoo did a great job on him. And, and also, Luca had seven turnovers tonight. You, you mentioned last night you wanted to see more physicality. You wanted to, uh, at the very least, uh, I know you mentioned that one of the complaints you had about Zion was he didn't even get to the free throw line. He was just getting to the basket, into his spots, making shots over and over. Uh, how are you feeling about the defense that was able to force turnovers, but also able to keep this Dallas team off the free throw line for an entire game? Yeah, I thought it was big. I thought, you know, bringing the physicality to the game, um, nothing easy. Um, and, and it, you know what felt good, Law, was just seeing, like, when they did score, we got pissed off and mad about that instead on the other end. And, you know, Przingis made one, like, six or seven feet behind the three-point line, and Kawhi got mad at, at itself because we said he would shoot the trail three and from deep. So um, just taking that responsibility and onus on ourselves just to make sure we follow the game plan, understanding what we need to do. And uh, like I said, tonight was a good job of just showing physicality, um, and also doing it without fouling. Thanks. Um, and we'll go next to Miriam. Hey, Ty. Um, obviously, PG made the big shot at the end. What do you What do you have to say about his sort of just playing through a, a rough night otherwise and, and, you know, having it pay off like that? Um, just keep playing. You know, you're not going to make shots every night. Um, but I thought his defensive effort on Luka was great. Um, I thought he got some deflections. And then, like I said, making a big shot down the stretch was, was huge. And they're not going to make shots every night. We understand that. But your uh, attention to detail, um, your um, defensive presence is always going to be felt and needed. And um, I thought he did that tonight. Um, next up, Sabrina. Hey, Coach. Uh, speaking of that defensive effort, uh, this is another game where Lou Will has made a lot of plays on the defensive end. And I'm just curious what you're seeing from him, you know, that's allowed him to be effective on that end of the floor. Just his effort. You know, um, Lou's been great all year, doing exactly what we asked him to do defensively, you know, showing, switching. Um, he made a huge steal on Luca. I think he had a huge deflection as well. Um, so, you know, he's been doing a great job. And then tonight, you know, also making some big shots for us down the stretch. And he hit that big three in front of our bench to kind of, you know, spread the lead for us. So um, it was a great night for Lou, and we needed every bit of it. What do you think has sort of sparked that in him this year? 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, just being professional, I want to win. You know, I think his main focus is winning. I mean, he's done everything pretty much in this league and um, winning six man, I don't know how many times. <laughs> so, like, now his main focus is, is just trying to win. And um, I applaud Lou for his effort, you know, every single night. And, you know, in this league, it's a lot of tough covers. So, you're going to get scored on. But if you put forth the effort and you try on every single night, I can live with the results. Thanks. Uh, next, we'll go to Tomer. Hey, Ty, congrats on the win. I uh, just want to apologize for not asking, but the starting lineup, that was on me. That's my bad. I told you when I left. Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> um, but we, Nick Batum played well. Uh, I wanted to know, you know, when did you decide on, on getting Marcus into that starting unit? And how did you sort of think that second unit played today with, with Nick in there instead of Marcus? Um, been thinking about it for a while. Um, just waiting on the right time. And, um, you know, I just... You know, I did it tonight. I really wanted to do it after a couple wins, you know, because they don't want to make it seem like it's Nick's fault that we lost because Nick has been great and phenomenal all year. Um, but just, you know, just last night, just thinking about it, I'm talking through it with my coaching staff, and it was time to get Marcus, you know, jump started, get him going. And, um, you know, tonight was a good start. Um, we'll do two more. Joseph Ray Award, go ahead. Hey, Ty. Hello. So much has been made out of the team struggles at the end of the games. How encouraging was it to see them not only pull out a close game, but do it on the defensive side of the ball? It was great to see, you know, and I thought down the stretch, PG had a couple of layups that he missed right, right at the rim as well. Um, but we tried to, you know, I thought we, a little too much, maybe try to get, you know, Luca his six foul, but we wanted to attack him, you know, make him want to guard. Uh, Kawhi got to a spot a couple of times, you know, one time I thought he got fouled. Um, but other than that, he got to his spots and he made it, he made a couple shots and he missed some as well. But I thought Kawhi was great tonight with huge rebounds down the stretch and um, just bringing us home. But he wasn't going to let us lose his game tonight. Uh, last question, Leonardo, go ahead. Coach, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Coach, how would you define the team's development in this season? Um, you know, have, you know, a lot of improvement to be made. You know, so I think it's for a lot of teams around the league, just not a lot of practice time, um, not a lot of time to get on the floor. So most of your practice time is going to come in the games, um, you know, when you got to, you know, close games out, you know, different plays, different lineups. And, um, you know, so everybody this year, all 30 teams are pretty much just learning on the fly. And um, some teams have the uh, luxury of being together for a while. So they're kind of ahead of everyone else, you know, but, you know, for the most part, I think we're doing a good job. We got to continue to keep getting better and continue to keep being more consistent.